Seven years later, almost to the day, a ceremony at the trade port in Portsmouth, marking not just the completion of a cutting edge water treatment facility, but a collaborative effort that started in May of 2014, from the push to have the state test those exposed to PFAS to tracing it to firefighting foam used when it was an air base and getting the Air Force to be part of the solution. It's nice to be getting on the other side of it where we can actually say, you know, the Air Force has invested now $65 million into the water treatment and the water processing at Pease. We have a lot more to do. Many officials crediting Pease mom, Andrea Amico. Knowing that my children were here at Pease uh, in daycare drinking the water every day, my husband was working for a company on Pease drinking the water every day, I, I just knew that I, I couldn't do nothing. She and other Pease moms who joined her with continued activism, advocacy and determination to correct the issue and keep tabs on those exposed, including the Pease study now being conducted by the CDC. I like to say, you know, I'm just as persistent as PFAS, you know, I'm just, I'm not going away. It was that action that really got us in at the beginning of responding to PFAS in the country. And this community was one of the first in the nation to take action. Over 320 other Air Force or former Air Force facilities are dealing with issues similar to Pease and how it's been handled here is a model for the rest of the country. In Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.